Hi, it's Warwick Merry here, the co-founder and CEO, Chief Exhibiting Officer of the Exhibiting and Sponsorship Institute. Now, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about taking risks on the trade show floor or when you exhibit or sponsor an event. I love risks. I think risks are good. It's, it's good to take them. You want to be a bit edgy. You want to be able to engage with your people. And to be able to do that, sometimes you can't just do the same old boring thing that everybody else is doing. We have got a table, we have a sign, we have a fishbowl, you put your card in, we take your information. You've got to do something a little bit different. But be very careful when taking risks. Because sometimes they can burn you. Sometimes the risk is a little too great for the audience. So you want the risks to be manageable. You've got to manage the risks. You've got to consider what will other people think of this? What will other exhibitors think of this? What will the visitors or guests think of this? Most importantly, what will my target market think of this? Because, you know, if your target market loves it and everyone else hates it, who cares? You know, if other people hate it, that's not an issue as long as your target market love it. So, manage the risk. Consider the impact that it's going to be on others. So, when you're looking at risk, the first thing you need to do is manage it. You want to minimize the negative impact of the risk and maximize the advantage that the risk will give you. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you're measuring the results of the risk. You don't want to just take the risk for the sake of it. You don't want to just do something a little bit special and different without understanding what's the impact of this risk. Has it been worthwhile? Has this been really good? Should we do it again? Should we do it same, same, but different? So we just, you know, tweak it a little bit. So you need to measure the impact. And again, measure the impact on maybe those around you. Just have a quick conversation with other exhibitors. Maybe talk with a show organizer or the event organizer. Uh, maybe in part of your follow-up, refer to the risky element that you took and find out, was it worthwhile? What did they think of it? What did your target market think of it? It's worth understanding what they felt about it. You've got to measure it. How will you know whether you've got to do it again? So make sure you take that, that step and measure the impact of the, the risk as well as the results of the risk. And then the third thing you want to do with your risk is take advantage of the momentum of the risk. So not only do something risky or funky or edgy or you know, a bit of left of center, but then take advantage of that, play on that, build on that, refer back to it, put photos of it, put a bit of video of it, play with it, get maximum value out of it. I've seen some stunning booths of late, and I've seen some risky elements of late, and I guarantee you that no one has taken advantage of that. No one has sort of stretched it that bit further or maximized it to the people who weren't at the show or weren't at the event or didn't see what it was. So whether you've done something like maybe, uh, for example, we were at an event and we saw uh, someone who had a unique uh, boutique hotel or unique intimacy was their tagline. They'd set up their booth with a double bed and some beautiful drapes and they're all dressed in their dressing gowns. And if you wanted to have a talk to them, you had to lie down on the bed with them, which was fantastic. Why wouldn't you be taking photos of that? Why wouldn't you be doing a, a, a handheld promo video saying, do you want to get intimate at your next event? Then join us here at this, you know, and you know, do something like that. Take advantage of it. Someone else we saw did a risky thing. They had some body painting. So they had some almost nude models there, male and female, and they were body painting with their brand on it. But I didn't see them maximize it. I didn't see them take it any further. And it was edgy. Everyone was talking about it. Not all of it was positive. Not a lot of it was positive. But I wonder whether they took advantage of it, measured it, and, and you know, really maximized the risk. So if you want to take a risk on your show, my thing is go for it. Do it. But make sure you're considering the three M's when it comes to risk, which is, of course, manage the risk, measure the impact of the risk, and then get you know, momentum. Take advantage of the momentum from the risk. If you can do that, then I think you'll find that the risk is worthwhile. Again, this is Warwick Merry from the Exhibiting and Sponsorship Institute. Uh, when you next exhibit, exhibit well.